So I'm here with Eric Wolf of Airwolf 3D at the 3D Print Show California. And uh, we're learning about their new printer, the Axiom. So uh, Eric, thank you for talking with us today. On My WTF. pleasure. Uh, can you uh, tell our, our audience a little bit about your new printer and some of its unique features? Yeah, we're really excited about the Axiom. Uh, we started designing this printer in early 2015, and uh, there was this need out there for a printer that's truly plug and play, push and go. And one of the biggest barriers to easy 3D printing is calibration. I mean, sure, once you learn how to calibrate a standard printer, it's kind of no problem. But for the beginners and for the people who actually have a job to do and they want to get it done right away, they don't want to learn how to calibrate. And they don't want to think about, hey, is my print not coming out because I didn't calibrate it right? There's these extra variables that it introduces. Another thing they wanted to do is they wanted to print an ABS. So usually with an open printer, you can print small objects in ABS. Um, but when you want to get into big ABS objects, you want more of an enclosure around it to prevent air coming in and to keep that temperature warm inside the chamber. So we wanted to solve those problems. We also wanted a printer that looked really special from the outside. And we have some outstanding previous designs, but one of the issues we ran into was um, at, the, at the large quantity we want to move this printer at was was people expected like a like an injection molded surface to the outside of the machine. Traditionally, our customers loved the way our machines were 3D printed and they could see some of the 3D printing in there, but with the new style, they want this smooth finish. So we actually built a hybrid machine. So it's got injection molded polycarbonate outer pieces and inside we still 3D print it because we can really quickly prototype the, the designs and make them faster and stronger and adapt the machine to new filaments and new ways of doing things. So um, it's a really, really fun project for us. The other issue we want to work on was make it as strong as possible. I want this printer to be able to roll it out of the back of a delivery truck and survive. So we build it with aluminum extrusions throughout, a lot of aluminum uh, one 8 sheet metal in there, and make it as strong as we possibly can. So um, with the printer itself, for the auto leveling, with the auto leveling, what will happen is actually the nozzle will complete a circuit with the bed. Now, this technology um, is a new application in the sense of this printer because that glass plate will slide into this carrier that we created. And the glass plate's the printing surface, but the carrier actually acts as a conductive surface for the nozzle. So what'll happen is the nozzle will touch different parts of this plate. The microprocessor will then remember where on the Z-axis the nozzle was for each of the four touches, generate a virtual plane in the microprocessor. That virtual plane will then be projected on the part as it prints. So if you look down, you can actually see the Z-axis slightly turning depending on where the print head is. So we have this automatic calibration at all times. And it's sealed too, it's enclosed, so you don't smell it, you don't really hear it too much, and it kind of just does its thing, that's the beauty. And now I understand that the, the filament feed is new as well, and it's much easier? That's that right, right, that's right. And usually with these, the 3D printers out today, you have to kind of feed the filament in, and you have to close the latch, make sure your tension on the filament is correct. This one is already pre-tensioned. There's actually no adjustment. Even if you want an adjustment, you cannot adjust it. It automatically adjusts the tension on the back of there, so you'll put the filament through, it'll suck it through, come out the nozzle, and then it's ready to print. If you, if, and if you want to change a color or change a filament print, you just press pause, You'll select retract filament, it'll take all the filament out of the head, and then you can put your new filament in. You select load filament, and it'll put all the new filament in for you. Mm. So. Well, that certainly sounds like it'll be a lot easier to use, a lot more uh, yeah. enjoyable, really, than fiddling with all those little things, right? I think so. Our guys love it at work. After they use these, they don't want to use anything else anymore. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Airwolf 3D has a new printer and a new logo. It's very cool. We do. We have some really talented people that joined our art department. So we're so happy that everything's coming together. Just All the right. right time. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank really you. Thank you, Tom.